Welcome to Bunny's Designs. This is a live show recorded for Ustream.tv and also for YouTube for people to watch at their leisure. The Amazon Gremlin has struck again. And I have a new microphone and so without further ado, there's no rubbing and scratching because it's terrible. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't like the microphone. So we have ta da we have 72 new babies. So I'm going to do um, a bit of an unboxing and a play. Um, and then I'm going to um, uh, do a comparison with my old set that I've had for a long time. And the other thing that I was having a look at is the new pencil sharpener. the long point pencil sharpener and I think it was about six or seven pounds oh, oh it's blue wow that's a rather oh sorry I forgot I moved the camera oh it's blue so you have your little tiny ones at the back and do you know what I think they're for? And I'm hoping they work. They're to, this is what I use as a pencil because I can't grip. And I think you put that in there and it will make a point. No, maybe not. I think it does. It's, you've got two two millimeter points. It tells you on the box. Um, it's a point, three point, two millimeter point there. And that one, and that's eight millimeters but you the first one the reason is I did find this in my box of pencils that I was giving to children and things and um, I found this one I found this one as well but I don't know what that one says that says made in Germany but this particular one I haven't used it but you can just see there the letters K-U-M and it says here precision and the blade is really shiny because I've never used it. Now the pencil sharpener itself is really grotty because it's been kicking about. I must have had it 10, 15 years. I have no idea where I got it from but I recognise the logo on this one and it says precision and if you look the blade goes all the way across and it, I'd never used it so it makes some really nice points but it takes the paper that it takes a lot of the color away and of course tight Yorkshire lass I don't like to do that so and I've kept the color because I'm going to use it this particular one it sharpens the pencil until you have the stop mark and it takes just wood off and then you can take it here and you can take it to a very, very, very sharp point. Now, I won't be doing that until I need to, because tight Yorkshire lasts. But I did want one because some of my pencils are quite old and I decided that it's easy to use them with that point. Um, so I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I need to put my babies there. Sorry about the glare. So let's quickly take that off. Let's see if I can find something. Oh, hi, Caribou Babe. Welcome to Many Designs. Anybody else popping in? I'm just unboxing my babies. And I can't rattle too much because I have a new microphone and it, will, it picks up every sound. So, so we have two trays of gorgeous pencils. And I love the Derwent Flesh Pink. It's a wonderful colour. So this is my favourite colour order. The only thing I would probably do is put the white here. That's what I normally do, is I take that, that white. 
Now the wood doesn't look as nice as my old wood, but of course you've got to remember that 20 or 30 years ago you could use um, any wood you liked. Saw a tree, got the trees, did the wood. You can't do that now. So everybody that makes pencils and uses wood have got to be very, very careful and are very, very strictly... So, so the wood is never going to be as good as the pencils from yesteryear. But, oops, the quality of the pigment and things will be remain the same. So um, that was very quickly an unboxing of my new... Oops, let me take that off, see if that's any better. My new Derwent pencils. Watercolour pencils. And my new pencil sharpener. Thank you for watching.